What's going on, everybody? It's Kevin with Custom Night Vision, and tonight we're out here in a fairly well-lit urban environment. Uh, what we're talking about tonight is manual gain. At Custom Night Vision, we feel like this is kind of glossed over. It's a very understated aspect of night vision, and we're gonna kind of go into why it's important, what is it, the history of it, and what applications lend itself to manual gain being useful. So first and foremost, for anybody watching that's new to night vision, manual gain is a feature in some night vision devices that affords you the ability to adjust the gain or the brightness of the device. The, the brightness that is displayed through these diopters in front of your eye. There's a lot of night vision devices on the market that have manual gain. There's a lot that don't. Historically, devices that utilize manual gain were acquired or consumed by government or military entities almost exclusively. In the, in the past few years, those have become commercially available. And with their commercial availability has kind of started the conversation of what, what do we need manual gain for? Why is this important? Um, even more recently, companies have started to come out with commercially available housings that offer manual gain. Uh, these are all relatively new to the market and they've been quickly adopted for their uh, added benefits that they provide the user as we are discussing the benefits of manual gain. Uh, currently, we sell a housing that is very similar to a 31 Alpha BMVD 1531. It's called the BMVD 1431 Mark II. It uses PBS 14 style optics, as we've discussed in other videos, and it has manual gain. We can put American Generation 3 tubes in it and utilize the manual gain. Currently, there are no other housings on the market that offer this capability. The big important feature or aspect of manual gain that, again, we don't feel like is talked about enough is increased situational awareness in, you know, really all lighting conditions, but most importantly, lighting conditions like this, where you have a lot of ambient light, you've got light directly overhead. Uh, in the foreground, you have darkness and you want to see through these, you know, different photonic conditions to see what's beyond them you know, that they may be shielded by the edge of the area that's lit brightly. When you have the capability to turn the gain down of your device, your, the center of your vision is no longer o overloaded by a very bright image intensifier. And what that does is it allows you to now see everything outside of your night vision, you know, in your natural peripheral view. Um, anybody watching, if you're not aware, when you use night vision, Almost all night vision devices only provide 40 degree field of view, uh, that be it a monocular PBS 14 or a binocular setup, with the exception of the different options on the market that utilize four tubes, you know, GPMBGs, et cetera, and distens. They give varying degrees of larger fields of view, but for this video, we're just gonna discuss kind of the traditional standards in night vision, monocular or binocular. It doesn't matter if you have one tube or two, you're limited to about 40 degrees field of view. Now, when your tubes are running at maximum gain, like I was saying before, the center of your vision is going to be overwhelmed with an incredibly bright image in a relatively dark environment. This isn't so much the case when you're in a well-lit area like this, but it still can be when you're using um, L3 filmless tubes. They tend to have a very high gain and they're very bright. So having the ability to turn those down, it, it not only allows you to see, again, like I was saying, your natural peripheral, it actually increases the signal to noise ratio of the tube, meaning you're going to get better contrast, you're gonna see things more clearly, even though they're slightly more dimly lit, they're not going to be um, overexposed, if you will. We're going to, show some examples later on in this video of different lighting conditions with or without manual gain. And, and we're gonna try to simulate to the best of our ability with the cameras that we have, what that would look like to your eye behind the night vision device. So we're going to set some stuff up around here and other locations and, and show y'all kind of what this looks like and really why we feel like it's a critical component of night vision. 
Okay, we've moved over to an area of the parking garage and set up a little bit of a demonstration. This is about as scientifically accurate as we can recreate um, what you will actually experience, you know, first person or from your point of view when using a device with manual gain. On either side of us, to the left or the right, there are well lit areas in this parking garage and there is about a 40 meter section of less lit area where the, the lights are all out for some reason. I don't know if they're broken or whatever, but it's kind of a, a perfect area to show you kind of how this works. So right now we have this device set with the gain all the way up. And if you kind of direct your eyes to the edge of the screen and either, you know, right or left, you can see that the peripheral view is somewhat occluded. It's very dark because the brightness in the center is overpowering the rest of the image. Now I'm gonna start turning the gain down slowly and you'll see that peripheral area start to become more visible. And if you'll notice, I'm gonna turn it back up a little bit. There's a sweet spot in here where you see a lot more contrast and a lot more detail without all the noise. When I turn it all the way up, you see that fuzz? That's noise. I'm gonna turn it back down. It's kind of a nice, nice spot to stop right there to really get a good image, clarity. You can see everything, all the little details and everything on that wall. We go past that, you can still see everything, but you, now you can see everything around the night vision. You have full natural peripheral view come back up. This is surprisingly accurate to what this actually looks like when you're behind a night vision device. When it's extremely dark, these peripheral areas over here, that will be black to your eye. You won't be able to see any of this. This is a, a relatively well lit parking garage even though we're in a very, um, a not so lit area but I think you get, kind of get what I'm trying to convey here. One more time, go down. And all the way back up. This is why manual gain is critical very important for people that use night vision in law enforcement or military applications where being able to see outside of 40 degrees is very important. Okay, we've changed locations. Now we're not far from what I would say somewhat urban, mostly suburban area, but well lit. We're a little bit away from all the street lights and uh, parking lot lights, etc. There's still a, a solid ambient glow in the in the sky, but everything around us is fairly dark. We're going to demonstrate in this different lighting condition what adjusting the gain would look like. So we're going to start turning that down. You notice you can see a little bit more of the horizon that wasn't in view before. Turn it back up. We've got really good contrast right there in the middle. Clarity, we can see everything, but at the same time, we can still see the horizon. And what, what, what we're seeing is some fence, some house over there to the left, the roof of a house. Some of the field of view of the camera is obscured by the tripod that is holding this night vision device in place. So don't pay any attention to that. So now we're, we're back up to max gain. Got a good image because it's not super bright here, but we lost all that peripheral, the um, image to the left and the right of the actual intensifier tube. I'm gonna turn it back down again demonstrate how that 
that opens up our field of view significantly. So essentially, I, I have night vision capability in the center of my vision, but I also have my normal vision in this lighting condition around the night vision. So I have, you know, my 150 some odd degree field of view that I would have in the daytime with the added benefit of having a 40 degree center view with image intensification or night vision capability. Again, having the ability to turn this up, for instance, if you're in a situation where something is over there along that fence line and you can't quite make it out with your gain set, you know, at a, a middle point somewhere in its, in its range, you always have the ability to reach up, turn that gain up to get a better image or get more light or clarity, if you will, in that situation once you've identified whatever it is that's over there and you can turn that back down and gain more situational awareness more field of view typically a little bit better signal to noise and contrast again this is an exact one-to-one -one comparison of what you would see with your human eyeballs but it is pretty close and it is a very solid representation we feel of uh, kind of what you would experience using these devices. We're gonna wrap this thing up because it's cold out here. Uh, so far we've discussed what manual gain is, why it's important, giving you a little background on devices that have manual gain, that don't have manual gain, you know, why you may or may not want it. Showed you a few examples in different lighting conditions of what that could look like to your eye when you're utilizing that feature. We really hope that this was helpful and kind of shed some light on a topic that we don't feel like is talked about enough. At Custom Night Vision, we offer commercially available BMVD 1431s with manual gain, either Elbit or L3 tubes, we've got them in stock. Go ahead and like, share, subscribe this video. If you want to get down in the comments and tell us what you think you know if you like manual gain tell us about it if you don't you think it's stupid get down there let's have a conversation about it if you have any questions about night vision you want to get into night vision get in contact with us you can call us email we're on all the social medias just send us a dm we'd love to help you out uh, we appreciate your time thanks have a nice night